after setting up the management IP address, we'll proceed with setting up the Big IQ licensing. Let's get started. So talking about licensing, there are different activation methods. The first method is automatic. This you would use when um, F5 has internet access from your environment. The second method is manual. In this case, you have to manually activate the license. And the third option is CCN. If your F5 is in closed circuit network, then we'll be using this option wherein uh, the, the secure data cannot be extracted out of the network. Talking about the licensing methods, you can do the licensing via GUI or via CLI. So for better information, I'm going to perform the licensing of Big IQ DCD via CLI and Big IQ CM via GUI so that you will get an idea of how to perform licensing via both of these methods. Let's get started. So to start with, we'll perform the licensing of DCD via CLI. First, we'll log into the device. We'll verify the specific version. Now, the first step to performing the licensing would be to generate a dossier. And you can perform or generate dossier using base registration key. Base registration key is a 27 character letter which identifies your platform to the F5 license server. And dossier is an encrypted file which is to be sent to F5 license server. To generate the dossier, we'll be using the command as get underscore dossier space minus B, and then we'll put in the base registration key. So after you run this command, you will see the output something similar to what you're seeing on my screen. Once we have the dossier file, we have to visit activate.f5.com. In here, you will have to select activate F5 product registration key. Once you click on it, you will have to paste the contents of your dossier on this website and then click on next. And finally, you will get the license file from here. You can either download this license file or copy the contents of this license file. After copying the contents of the license file, we will have to create a license file. So on F5, the license is stored in config slash big IP dot license file. On an unlicensed device, this file does not exist. So we first have to create this file using VI editor. So we'll just type the command as VI slash config slash big IP dot license. The moment we put enter after typing this, it will open up a file. Now inside this file, if I need to edit, I will have to type I from my keyboard. Then at the bottom, you can observe the icon changing to insert mode. So now you are in inside the insert mode. You have to copy the contents of your license file here. And to come out of your insert mode after copying the contents of your license file, you just type Q. And now in order to come out of the file itself, we'll just type colon WQ and exclamation, right? Save and exit. So with this, now the license file is already present and you will notice the change on the F5 CLI prompt, which is saying as license inoperative. After this, we would have to reload the license file. To reload the license file, we'll use the command as reloading. And after a while, we'll observe that the device is successfully licensed. 
the prompt will change as active standalone. So with this, the DCD licensing is completed, but our initial setup is not yet done. We still have some steps which we have to perform via GUI. So after performing this license activation for DCD, we will have to log into GUI. We'll use HTTPS and then the management IP address. You will get an error because F5 is using a self-signed certificate, which is not trusted by your browser. We just click on advanced and proceed. And after this, you will see the login prompt as this. In here, if you notice something, the host name is showing as unknown and the IP address is also showing as 0000, even though we have already configured the management IP address. That's because the initial setup is not yet completed. So in here, in order to log in, you will use the uh, credentials for GUI, which is admin and password is admin. After logging in, you will see the first tab as showing licensing with two different options. One is license and then the skip license. So on uh, big IQ, you also have this feature skip license starting version 7.1. You do not have to perform any licensing on the device. If you are planning to use only big IQ for managing the different licenses of your F5. In my case, at present, the license is already activated. That's why you, you see the activation method. And on the license status, it is showing as license expires in 31 days. So we just click on next. After clicking on next, this is uh, one major important feature uh, which is introduced on big iq which is the master key be very careful while you're setting this up because you cannot change this after your initial setup is done without resetting the entire device this master key is used for communication between your um, big iq dcd and big iq cm as well as if you have your big IQ CM in HA, then this same master key will be used for communication. So we, we have to uh, make sure the passphrase that we are selecting is meeting the requirements. So we just fill in the passphrase and click on next. After clicking on next, it will ask you to change the default usernames for admin and a root account. In here also, the best feature is that it will not let you pass until you have given a password which has a strong as strength. For example, if I try to set this as my password, it will say that password is not strong enough. And the password strength you can see here is medium. Even then it is not letting me through. Unless I set a password which is of strength strong, you cannot proceed further. So in, in my case, even though I'm, I, I did not meet all the requirements for setting up the password, it will let me through provided the strength is strong. This is the password which I have set up. So after setting this up, I'm getting an option for clicking to next. So I'll just click on next. And after clicking on next, I will see a system personality. So in my case, the license is already activated and that license is applicable for DCD. That's why it is showing only the option of uh, big I Q DC data collection device. Then we just click on next. In here, we can set up uh, the host name of our big IQ DCD and make sure the host name that you set is a fully qualified domain name. And if you want to use the discovery address, 
as your management IP address or via the self IP address, how you are planning to discover the different devices. You can choose that. You can even create different self IPs. So in, in my case at present, I'm, I'm not creating it. It is not a mandatory step. You can just click on next. After this, it will ask you for setting up different DNS service, NTP services. It is again, not a mandatory step, but yes, definitely recommended. And in here, you even have a feature of uh, testing the co connectivity. So you can just put in your IP address and click on test connection. If you want to test the network connectivity between big IQ DCD, as well as your DNS service or your NTP services, then you can set up the time zone and click on next. And finally, you will get a summary page showing all the details, whatever you have entered. And the system personality is showing as big IQ logging node, which is data collection device. Then we click on launch. After clicking on launch, it will give a pop-up saying that to complete the process, we need to restart the services. So big IQ basically works on uh, rest Java D. So once we click on restart, it will restart all the services. And you will observe the GUI to be something like this. It takes around uh, five, five to 10 minutes. And after a while, you will see the login prompt as this. In here now, if you notice, it is showing me both the host name as well as the IP address, which is correct as per my requirement. So with this, we have completed the DCD setup. Now, if we log in using the credentials, admin and the password, what we have set up, we will see the screen as this. Once we click on system, it will show me the different options available on my big IQ DCD. So with this, we have completed the initial setup of DCD via CLI 